Hey everyone! And today I am sharing with you not one, not two, but six of my favourite plant-based breakfast recipes with you. I'm really excited for you because I really think it's going to set you up to have a great variety to start your morning with. I have three sweet and three savoury options to suit every mood, so let's get started! Turmeric overnight oats. Now these aren't just any overnight oats, they are turmeric spice and they also have chia in them. So I like to call them my turmeric spice chats. So we have very few ingredients. We have our trusted oats, of course. We also have our maple syrup, chia, our plant-based milk. I use almond milk in this. We have our vanilla, turmeric and cinnamon. Yep, it is as easy as that. So now you're just gonna place the lid on and leave it in the fridge to soak overnight. But if you forgot to soak it overnight, don't worry, you could still eat them in the morning. All you have to do is add hot water to it instead, leave it for at least an hour and then add in some milk and you will have fantastic overnight oats or fake overnight oats. So this is how it will look once it's ready. It has a really, really great thick texture and I then top it with all my favorite toppings. you've noticed this is a beautiful yellow color because of the turmeric and you will also see throughout my breakfast recipes I have used some sort of spices in all of them that's because spices are vital to help with our digestion especially in the morning imagine your stomach is like a fire and it's been left all night long and so it's weakened a little bit so spices help to stoke the f as you load more and more into your stomach it's able to digest it much better and there you have it your turmeric spice overnight chats stewed apples. So let's make our stewed apples next. Now according to Ayurveda, stewed apples are seen to be one of the best things you can start your morning with. They are light enough so they don't overload your digestive system, but they also have these amazing spices, which today we're using clove and cinnamon, which really help bring heat to your body, which is necessary to help digest your food. So all you're gonna do is peel your apple and then we're gonna chop them up and boil them with the spices. It should only take about 10 minutes. And you could top it with whatever toppings you like. Sometimes I add almond butter, or a few nuts but my Ayurvedic teacher once told me that there is great power in simplicity and so just having them by themselves and having single ingredients by themselves can be very powerful for your digestion. You might have a little bit of the water left over but that's okay I love drinking it after it tastes so good or you could save the water and use it in your oatmeal if you get hungry a little bit later on. Curried quinoa now this is super simple. I love this breakfast so much and it really is just oil, quinoa and curry leaves and a little bit of salt. Quinoa is actually a seed, not a grain, which means it's easier for your body to digest and it has all the amino acids to make it a complete protein. So you're getting your protein first thing in the morning, which is also great. Now we're using curry leaves as our spice and curry leaves help to purify your blood and really, really are so tasty. Now I sometimes use chili oil because I just love a bit of spice, but you can just use normal olive oil too. And that is that, that's all it takes. Now to make it easier for you, you can always make your quinoa in bulk and store in the fridge for a couple of days, but fresh is always better. Chai spice porridge. I know oatmeal can feel boring, but this oatmeal certainly is not. We are making it a chai spiced oatmeal. Flavors of chai, cardamom, cinnamon, black pepper, just so many wonderful flavors to start your day with. I am using quick cook oats. They obviously cook faster, but you can also use the traditional old fashioned oats too. If you want them to be super, super creamy, you can also soak these in a little bit of hot water before you have them, only for about 10 minutes. We also have our chai spice that we're gonna add into our oats. And I always like to add a little bit of extra cardamom just cause it smells so sweet and it's so tasty. For your sweetener, you can use dates, which is what I'm using, because I think it really goes well with these flavors. Or you can use any sweetener of your choice, like maple syrup or agave too. I like to use all milk. I know some people do half and half, but milk makes it just even creamier. If you do find that it ends up being a little bit too thick, all you have to do is add a little bit of extra milk. Honestly, the smell of chai spice in the morning, there is nothing like it. It just fills your home with so much warmth. Veggie boa. Now, usually it's called batata boa, which means potato and rice flakes, but I'm not gonna use potatoes in this. I'm using different vegetables, like carrots and green beans. Now, the reason it's called boa, which translates to flat rice. 
So this rice is parboiled and then pressed into flakes. The reason it is eaten in India a lot for breakfast is because one, it's very hearty, but also easy to digest. Now, whenever I go back to India and I go and stay at this beautiful retreat center called the Eco Village, I eat this pretty much every other day. It's so tasty and um, it just really, really reminds me of my trips to India, which are my favorite part of the year. So this one has a couple more ingredients than the rest, but trust me, it's worth it. And you can always prep your ingredients beforehand to make it faster in the morning. So as well as our flat rice, we also have ginger, my CCF powder that I often speak about, a perfect digestive masala mix, hing, which is my replacement for onion and garlic, carrots and green beans are the vegetables I've chosen, but you can use any that you like, but I really like this mix. And you also get one of your five a day in at the beginning of the day. We also have coriander, and I like to add some cashews in there too when I'm cooking it. For our spices, we also have some cumin seeds, mustard seeds, and a little bit of turmeric. So first of all, we're gonna soak our flat rice. Now that only needs to be for a couple of minutes, but you just have to pour water over your flat rice and leave it aside while we prepare the rest. So I put the lid on here because I want the vegetables to steam and get a little bit juicy too. And we've just drained out the boa, the rice flakes. We don't want too much water in there because otherwise it'll go soggy. But this should be really nice and fluffy once we cook it. Once these veggies seem like they are soft and cooked, let's add in the last few spices that we need. Okay, it's ready and it smells amazing. And if you're making at the same time as me, your house must smell incredible. And just remember, no Indian dish is really complete without a chutney. Now I always have chutneys in my fridge and I have so many of the recipes on my website. But with this one, I like my coriander and mint chutney. Super simple and I just keep some in my fridge to use whenever I fancy taking them out and using them in dishes like this. Even if you're just serving it for yourself, remember to garnish. Digestion actually starts from the moment you see your food. So for this, I usually sprinkle a little bit of coriander and a squeeze of lime. Radhi's avo on toast. I know you've all heard of avocado toast before, but we're gonna add some spices into it. This is inspired by my Ayurvedic teacher, Divya. Her restaurant in New York has this incredible avocado toast. If you ever, ever wanna taste the best avocado toast of your life, go there. So for this, we obviously have our Hass avocado. Now, this is my favorite when it's the perfect texture, ready to be mashed up and smooth and just wonderful. That is a good avocado. So in the avocado, we're gonna put some simple spices. We've got a bit of hing and the CCF powder, which is the cumin, coriander, fennel powder that I use very often. And then of course, we have a little bit of lime to get that zestiness and a little bit of olive oil too. And you can choose the topping you want, but I like putting on these beautiful watermelon radish and some microgreens too. Get us some herbs in the morning too. And lastly, I'm also gonna be putting kalonji, which is one of my favorite seeds or spices. It has such an aromatic flavor, and I usually just toast them and then sprinkle them on top. If you're feeling really fancy and you have a little bit of extra time, I make this sour cream made from cashews, and I like to drizzle that on top too. Okay, so those are some of my favorite breakfast dishes. I'm so glad I got to share them with you. And I hope it gave you some really, really good ideas for quick, easy, delicious meals that you can prepare for yourself in the morning. I hope you also learned some Ayurvedic wisdom that you may not have known before. And lastly, I wanted to share with you something else. In Ayurveda, it actually speaks about how our digestion is strongest when the sun is at its highest, which is usually in the afternoon. And so you slowly build up to your largest meal in the afternoon. So that's why you normally start off with something lighter in the morning morning like your poached apples and it recommends that once you've had them try to have a little gap in between and if you're still hungry have something like your porridge or your oatmeal or something heavier like one of these items so I hope that was useful sending you all so much love and gratitude and I guess I have a lot of work to do eating this Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>